Welcome to the Maths Made Easy tutorial on prime factors. In this video, we'll just cover an example, exam style question. Uh, so in this case, we're finding the lowest common multiple and the highest common factor of 420 and 132. So we'll start off by drawing the pr prime factorization tree of 420. So 420 uh, is two times 210. So we'll circle the two. Now 210 is three times 70. So we'll circle the three, 70 is 7 times 10, so uh, we'll circle the 7, and then 10 is 2 times 5, so 5 and 2 are both prime numbers, uh, so we can write this prime factorization as 2 times 2 times 3 times 5 times 7. So I'm writing these in ascending order because it makes it easier when we do the Venn diagram. Uh, but next let's do the prime factorization of 132. So 132 uh, is equal to 2 times 66, so we'll circle the 2, and 66 is 2 times uh, 33, so 33 is 3 times 11, so both 3 and 11 are prime numbers. So we can write the prime factorization as 2 times 2 times 3 times 11, and now uh, we draw our Venn diagram. So we've got the factors of 420 in this circle, and we've got the factors of 132 in this circle. So uh, let's start with the factors of 420 then. So uh, let's write them in green actually. So we've got uh, two. Now, uh, anytime a number appears in the prime factorization of both of these numbers, we're gonna write in the intersection. So there's a two in both of these lists here. So we'll write a two in the intersection and we'll cross them from both lists. We have another two and another two in the other prime factorization. So we'll write another two in the intersection and cross them both off. And the same with the three. So there's a three in both, uh, so we'll cross them off both lists. Then all that's left is the five and the seven. Now there's no fives or sevens in the prime factorization of 132, uh, so we'll cross them off. And then the 11 from the prime factorization of 132 is the only thing that's left to add to the Venn diagram. So uh, to find the highest common factor, first of all, all we do is multiply the numbers in the intersection together. So that's two times two times three, uh, so 2 times 2 is 4, 4 times 3 is 12, so the highest common factor is 12. Now the lowest common multiple is a bit harder to find, so that's all of the numbers in the Venn diagram multiplied together. So that's 2 times 2 times 3 times 5 times 7 times 11. Now if you were uh, doing this manually with pen and paper, you'd have to do uh, 2 times 2 times 3 times five times seven times 11 with a long multiplication method. So you'd probably have to simplify this. But I haven't got the space to do that here. Uh, so I've actually worked this out earlier. So uh, you should get a final answer of 4,620. So the lowest common multiple is 4,620. Uh, so these are our final answers. If you're feeling ready to test yourself on this topic, you can do so with our online exam. It's available through our revision platform. And if you take the test, you'll find loads of different questions to have a go at, all of which are really good preparation for your exams. Uh, and you get instant feedback on everything. So it's a really good way of keeping track of your progress and finding out where you need to improve. So if you're interested, you can click the link below and it will take you straight there.